welcome back uh, to the Bay Grab Bar podcast. Today, we are so fortunate to have uh, one of my favorite uh, physical therapists with us, Marcy Silverberg. Well, I, there's always a nurse. I think a nurse is required in order for the patient to uh, need home health. So there'll be a nurse. And then the other people that might be needed is an occupational therapist. So that's if the client's having trouble with things relating more to fine motor of their hands, dressing, um, cooking, cognitive processes, things like that. There could be a speech language pathologist and there could be a social worker. Uh, those are the main ones. And, and how does this group typically function together? That's a good question and it depends on the agency that you're working for. So yeah, I worked in a rehab setting where we, all those members were a part of a team and then some neuropsychologists and doctors and we had a, a really integrated team setting, you know, where we all spoke regularly about the patient. We met twice a week. So I imagine there are home care agencies that run similarly where everyone's hired together and they talk about the patients. In my experience, when I did home health, I was hired on as a contractor. So, you know, I was just like hired on to take on cases and I worked for different companies. And so there wasn't a lot of regular communication, but I was always able to contact uh, another professional if I needed to, if I had a question. So it was more like I would communicate when I needed to. So it depends on your work setting and who you're working for.